when I was younger, mm -hmm. when I used to live down 34th Street, <clears throat> 34th Street, it was real bad. You know, gang wars. You couldn't walk two blocks. Not unless you'd be on somebody else's turf or stuff like that there. Um, that was back in the day when Herman Rice and Andy Jenkins and all of them created uh, mantra community planners and tried to control the gang fighting and killing and stuff like that there. Today, it's, it's a lot subtler now. You don't have as much of the gang wars. You have more of the drug wars now. Um, you don't have, like, all the gangs that we had when I was younger. When I was younger, anyway. But now, you know, you have these little pockets of, of drug dealers that like to set up corners and stuff like that there. So, it's the same, but it's different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you go walk through the neighborhood now, you know, but the drug people don't want this drug dealer on his corner and this drug dealer on that corner. But they don't mind people walking through. You know, back when I was younger, you couldn't walk through because gangs wouldn't want you in their part of the neighborhood. It's their turf, that's what they called it. So it's, it's, it's a lot safer now, but still, this is dangerous because if, if there's something happens and they start shooting and fighting, so you're in the same situation you was 15 years ago. You know, but that's about it. I think the neighborhood is changing a whole lot with all the development going on around here. Um, in another 10 years, you won't have an empty lot in the neighborhood because uh, with Drexel coming in the neighborhood and, and uh, trying to get all the employees housing right here in the neighborhood is changing the, 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 uh, the dynamics of the neighborhood a whole lot, you know. So I think it's for the better, you know, bringing new people in the neighborhood. So I think it's for the better.